the 4th of September, my third generation Fi TV Cube has a brand new update. And I'm actually pretty excited about this because this is something that we've been waiting for for a very, very long time. A great feature that I'm sure everybody will use. It will help your Fi Stick, Fi TV Cube. It will help your storage issues and just give you an overall better experience on your device. So let's give this a minute, let this update finish. I'll then reboot my device and show you exactly how this new feature works. It's just very frustrating that Amazon have done it like this because I'll explain it in just a second when this update completes. And let me just say many thanks to Seven who actually told me about this new feature, who saw it on his device. So that really is the great thing about this community that I don't claim to know every single thing that's available for these devices, but with your comments, with your feedback, with you guys emailing me, together we can combine our knowledge and experience and really just make the best streaming community available on YouTube. So many thanks for being a part of that. Okay, let's give this a second. Okay, I can see it's now doing this update. Once this update completes, I'll then restart my device. One key thing I always say after any update, I do like to double check certain settings, particularly privacy and data collection settings, because some of those always seem to reset after every update. And unfortunately they reset in the favor of providing more data back to Amazon. So I will also double check those. Okay, my device is now restarting. And just while you're waiting guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, YouTube is actually telling me that more than 75% of you are watching my content, but you haven't actually subscribed. So please do double check and make sure you are subscribed with all notifications. Thank you. My device is now restarted. Let's see exactly which version my Fire OS is now running. Then I'll showcase this new feature. So let's navigate over to the settings. Let's go down into my Fire TV. And we can see my device is now running Fire OS 7.7.0.4 with that particular Fire TV home version. So that's definitely the latest update. If I click on check for updates again, just to confirm. Okay, so I now have the latest update. So what is this new feature? Well, would you believe it guys, if I back out of this, back again. If I now go to my applications, manage installed applications. And we now have this built-in feature clear all app caches. So guys, definitely to drop a like for this because as I mentioned before, this is something that you guys have been asking for a very long time to the point where I actually built my own application, the TDUK app cache cleaner, which Amazon unfortunately then blocked on all these devices. They blocked my application from running. Why? Because later on they had their own plans on building this feature directly into the operating system itself. So it is a bit frustrating how they've done this, but ultimately for you guys, you now get this feature baked in directly into all of your Fire Sticks, Fire TVs, really all of these devices will now have this feature built in. So I can, before I click on that, let me go back. Let me just look at my storage space. I currently have 1.93 gigs available. Let's go back. Let's go back to the applications and let's try out this new feature. So I can now click on clear all app caches. Oh, look, it's actually going to free up nearly one gig of space. So do I want to do that? Let's click on confirm. And there you have it guys. So now if I go back, let's check the storage again. And it looks like that hasn't actually done anything. So let me check that again. Uh, let's go back to applications, clear all app caches. Okay, so it's saying the same thing again. So maybe it takes some time to process or Maybe it's just not properly implemented because if I click on confirm again, let's go back in. I mean, this should now say zero because that cache should have been cleared. So either there's something not fully working on my device or maybe this feature hasn't been properly implemented. I mean, this wouldn't be the first time that Amazon have put something out there that just doesn't work properly. So let me try that again. So confirm, go back in. Yeah, that's definitely not working properly guys. So, okay. Unfortunately, that's a slight disappointment from my initial start of the video where I was hoping this would actually work properly and give you guys the ability to quickly clear your app caches. Oh, there we go. All right, so we now have 2.16 gigs free. So I think it just takes a bit of time. It's not as instant as the TDUK app cache cleaner, but we can see I've gained some space there. Let me go back to it again. Definitely seems a bit flaky or maybe it just takes a bit of time running in the background. Let's try that again. Okay, we can see it is reducing. So it looks like it is a slow process. It will take time, but 
if you leave it, it will just happen in the background automatically. So I would say overall a great feature, something that you guys were requesting and a great way for you to manage the free space on your device. So maybe it's just as a housekeeping activity, maybe once a week, once a month, you can go in here, click on confirm, now quickly clear up the cache on those applications where it has been building up. Normally I would recommend clearing the cache if your application is not performing properly, but also in other cases, there may be lots of temporary files, temporary build up can end up clogging your device. So it is advisable to clear the cache just to reclaim that free space. So that's that done. Now we can see on this screen, my automatic offload setting is set to off, which is fine. I'm happy with that. Let me go back. Let's also check the privacy settings for going to preferences and make sure your cookie consent, your device usage data, collect app usage data, all these are set to off because it just minimizes any app collection, any data collection that Amazon will do from your device because the more things that are being collected, it means your device is more busier and Amazon is now holding even more data about your personal browsing or app usage habits, which nobody wants. So that's fine. Mine are still all set to off. Let's go back and inside the data usage monitoring, make sure both of these are also set to off. So overall guys, I do think it's a great feature. Do double check on your device, go down into my Fi TV, go to about, make sure you have got the latest update. Do leave me a comment below if you do see this on your device and what you think of this new feature. Maybe in the future, they'll also introduce some kind of automatic app killer to close down or force stop all applications running in the background. Basically just taking all my application ideas, blocking them, then adding those features directly into the OS itself. So a bit frustrating, but again, for you guys, it does give you the benefit that you can use these features on your device because it's now going to be built directly into the OS. So that's pretty much of this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. The last thing just to mention that right now with all of the news with devices being hacked, data being lost, data being leaked, everybody should be using a VPN on their devices because when you use a VPN, you are now no longer using your own IP address, rather you are using an IP address provided from your VPN service provider. And with this different IP address, you can then go ahead and unlock different content from around the world you can unlock the entire Netflix library and really just keep yourself safe online. I've been using this for more than, I think, five years now. I have tried other VPNs during that time. I think I tried Nord for a bit. I tried Surfshark for a bit. I tried Express for a bit. But ultimately, I always come back to IPVanish because it just gives me that consistent performance. It allows me to access all of the applications I want to access and works great on all of my devices because they give you those unlimited connections. So one account, you can install it on 10 Fire Sticks, five laptops, 300 TVs, really as many devices as you like. So that kind of flexibility and that amazing price point, which you can see here for just over $2 a month, it really is a fantastic offer. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment. Or you can also take advantage of this free eSIM. So wherever you are in the world, you can now take advantage of this special offer. So lots of great freebies. Great price, great performance, works on all of your devices. And again, at this price point, it's definitely worthwhile checking out. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.